Italy's president, Giorgio Napolitano, has urged political parties in the country's coalition government to put aside their differences in the interest of restoring calm. Prime Minister Enrico Letta won a confidence vote in Parliament yesterday after a threatened revolt led by Silvio Berlusconi failed to materialise. <laughs> Prime Minister Enrico Letta has secured a decisive victory in a confidence vote on his government, first in the Italian Senate, then later in the Chamber of Deputies as well. Ahead of the Chamber vote, he said, this is a historic day for democracy. We've now achieved more of the necessary conditions for our work to allow us to look to the future with greater clarity. Then Berlusconi, who forced the crisis by withdrawing his party from the coalition, performed an extraordinary backflip. Due to the fact that Italy needs a government that can produce the structural and institutional reforms the country needs to modernize itself, we have decided, not without some internal strife, to support the government. It was a victory for Letta and a humiliation for the former Colossus of Rome, who's facing a vote to expel him from the Senate after an appeals court upheld his conviction for tax fraud. Wednesday's about face was surprising and humiliating, but while his grip on his party has been weakened, loyalists refused to declare his political career finished. I think that he should be our leader because he's the the one that still is uh, seen by millions of Italians as their representative who knows uh, by his experience how Italian, uh, how Italian uh, business works, how Italian justice works. While well, the markets on Wednesday reacted favorably to news of the confidence vote, Prime Minister Letta still faces enormous challenges. Italy is still struggling to emerge from the longest recession in its recent history, and much work will need to be done in order to create opportunities for growth in its economy.